So, having played this game to its entirety, and having played Dark Souls 1 prior to, uh, before this to its entirety, I love both of these games. Dark Souls 2, from what I was told, when I first, when I was playing Demon Souls, and I told people that were watching then, I told my wife, I told them all that I was gonna play, that I was gonna do the gauntlet. I was gonna do Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. First time ever. Um, when I told people that, a lot of people tried to steer me away from Dark Souls 2. But I could not just not play the second entry in the series. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So I played it, and I'm glad I did, because I love this game. It gave an amazing experience. An amazing experience. Um. Now, a uh, question that everybody's been waiting for. This is my review of Dark... Well, my first review is going to be of Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1... I love it to death. That is a fantastic game. Dark Souls 2, I love just as much. It's a fantastic game. If I'm looking at both games, if I'm looking at the story... In terms of story, Dark Souls 1 wins that hands down. When it comes to improvement over things that I had a problem with with Dark Souls 1, this game improved on every single front. Every single front. Now, if somebody were to ask me and hold a gun to my head and say, which one of these two games do I like the most? Or they hold a gun to my head and say, I have to give a, a score for each game. Dark Souls 1 on a scale of 1 to 10, I would have to give it a 9.6. Dark Souls 2, in comparison to Dark Souls 1, I would have to give a 9.7 and the reason why I would give this a 9.7 point one over Dark Souls 1 is with Dark Souls 1 they have the item called the Lord Vessel the one that lets you transfer to fast travel I know you have to earn it but man, you go through a huge chunk of the game without the ability to fast travel. This one gives you fast travel capability right out of the game. Um, This game right here has more healing. And a strength that I say that this game has that Dark Souls 1 kinda, it kinda has, but it doesn't, is that this is the first Souls game where it wasn't just a one weapon run. I literally would always have, let me see. I'd have, this one I had one. Let's see, two, three. scenarios that I upgraded personally seven and let me tell you this uh, in this game you want to always have a secondary weapon the first time that my weapon broke while I was in the middle of a boss fight I was so glad I had another weapon that was already maxed out that could pick up the slack because I didn't have the ring at the time that slows degradation That was an execution that I liked. It added another element to the game that you need to be aware of what you're doing, how much damage you're doing, 
and then some fights can be completely lost if your weapon breaks. Dark Souls 1, once I got my first boss weapon, I never switched. I had no reason to. I had no reason to. But I loved both of those games equally. This one just improved on every issue that I had with Dark Souls 1. If it comes to the story, Dark Souls 1 has a better story. When it comes to certain execution, this one executes everything perfectly. It improves on what was already great. Now, in terms of iconic characters, this one right here doesn't have patches. However, I like the execution of Mild Manor Pate because when you meet Mild Manor Pate, he doesn't give off any vibes that he's about to betray you. He doesn't give off any vibes that he's about to betray you. So I could easily see somebody getting fooled by him in the beginning. Now, I'm a gamer, so I'm not going to get fooled that easily. <laughs> if you tell me something, hey, there's a treasure in there, go get it. Why didn't you go get it? I don't trust you now. <laughs> also, in terms of rings, I love the fact that I can wear four rings now. They gave me much more variety. Because basically... Once you get that ring from that one character in Dark Souls 1, the one that breaks if you take it off, you pretty much run that and whatever other ring you want to run. <laughs> so this one gave you a lot more variety. My rings changed multiple times throughout this playthrough. <laughs> Shields changed multiple times throughout this playthrough. And they give you way more options to heal on the go, which is something that I like. And yeah, but overall, I love both games. This one improved on everything I would have wanted it to improve on. Over Dark Souls 1, but both of them are beloved in my heart. I will more than I'll be more than happy to sit down and play both of these again. Yeah, so that's my review of both of those games. They are both great. This one edges out dark FastWeb presenta Missione Convergenza Per restare sempre connesso e fare tutto ciò che vuoi Passa a FastWeb Scegli la fibra ultra veloce a 22,95 euro al mese Con FastWeb Tu sei futuro Let's see if they'll let, let us do the other ending Let's see if it will let us do the other ending 